everybody. Hello. <laughs> it's been two weeks since I painted the um, acrylic pour uh, Dutch, Dutch pour method onto this painting and now I am just so eager to get my beautiful honey eater bird onto the canvas. It's been a long two weeks, I tell you. It's really hard looking at paint, looking at the painting and envisaging my art concept, but needing to make sure that the painting was uh, completely dry before touching anything or I could end up ruining everything. So I've got my bird on here. I told my mum that I thought the bird was called an Eastern spine bill that I was doing and she's like, no, it's not. It's just, it's a type of honey eater, Kelly. Don't call it an Eastern spine bill. That's nothing like what you're doing. So anyway, my mum knows so many things about the world <laughs> and she has um, very clearly stated that it is not an Eastern spine bill that I am um, painting on here. So for simplicity's sake, we're just going to call it a honey eater. And that could also, if it was overseas, you could also call it a hummingbird. So that's the plan. I've got copper, deep gold, and light gold are my three colors that I am using. And uh, predominantly going to be copper, because I reckon that copper just goes absolutely brilliantly with um, the violet colors. And there's copper here. Think it, uh, sorry, it's not copper, it's bronze. So the bronze goes beautifully with the shades of violet and, uh, and blue. So that's just um, stunning. Now, we're going to use the Amsterdam gel medium. So I've never used the gel medium from Amsterdam before and Royal Talons have very kindly given me this um, as part of this project. They also gave me a beautiful big palette knife, but uh, I want a small one for this project, so I'm not going to use the palette knife they gave me. I have some favourites here that I like to use, mainly this one. I'm going to use that one predominantly, and uh, this one's good. Actually, I like all three of these for when I'm doing my, um, all three of those shapes for when I'm doing <coughs> the um, putting on the gel medium. So you may remember from previous videos, you do need to move quite quickly when you're working with a gel medium. There's no, uh, you can't take your time with it really. You have to keep moving and you need your, um, you need it to be secure properly without too many bumpy bits going on. Okay, and it's looking pretty good. So the idea is to do a thin layer of the gel medium. I don't like my... Um, work having too much texture. I prefer a smooth finish, which is always a nightmare for me because um, it's nigh on impossible to get the gel medium smooth. And I end up fiddling around for way too long trying to make that happen. And it doesn't, uh, I get it pretty good, but it, it just cannot be perfect you always end up, you move the, get the lines out from one area and another one appears in another spot. <clears throat> Great. The medium is on. I 
I'm doing the tips of the wings in deep gold. Okay, now I'm going to do the honey eater's face, starting with the beak. And now I'm going to do um, a bit of the gold in the centre of the bird here. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like a little bit too much of the gold has got on the bird's face, head. Do birds have faces? <laughs> Can you call a bird a... I don't know whether a bird has a face. <laughs> Just going to put a bit more copper in this area here. There's gold on my palette knife as well. I wonder if I use the long palette knife at this point, if it would make it smoother. I'm going to try. I've got no... Yeah, it did down that end. Yeah. Very good, I got paint over the edge there. Have to get that off ASAP. Okay, I think it's time to remove the stencil. And see whether uh, how beautiful this has all turned out.
here I go trying to perfect it and it's potentially making it worse. I, it drives me crazy those lines, it drives me crazy but I can't stop wanting to use stencils. Oh, I love it. It's fabulous. Just tidy up that bit there. It's absolutely fabulous. It's magical. The stencils come out really, really great really great I hope you like that too it makes I wanted it to look like the um, the blooms were a continuation of the birds feathers and I think that um, that has worked very nicely it feels like it's basically entirely bronze now uh, <laughs> I don't know how I can't see the gold at this point, my two shades of gold, I can only see bronze. But that's okay because bronze was really great with the violet. So let's leave it at that for a moment and um, I will be back with you for the next phase. There's the bird uh, ready to dry now, my honey eater. It's looking just lovely. And it's, it doesn't need any repairs at all. It's excellent. Fantastic stencil. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> really great. Mm -hmm.